So in my kind of view of science, science is about creativity. It's about finding something new. And you can't sit in your chair and dream up something new. You have to actually go in the lab and be able to experiment and play around and be able to adapt to the findings that you have. Fundamentally, our research um, involves solids and materials. Over the last 15 years, we've been focusing on nanomaterials. Our specialty is heat capacity measurements. That's just what we do. That's what this lab is. The heat capacity is a measure of the temperature response when you add energy. Some of our equipment will go down to a half a degree above absolute zero and go up to room temperature. And we use those measurements to study all those different properties. Our current project is um, metal organic frameworks and understanding guest host interactions. And so there aren't a lot of us in the world do, who do what we do. My name is Ying. My hometown is Baoji. It's a small city in China. So my research basically focuses on pure alumina and the silica dope alumina. So we are interested in alumina because it's really important industry material for catalytic applications. Because alumina can be used for a fissiotope reaction, auto emission control system, and also for purification of waste water, oil, and gas. So it can be used for our real life. One of the key things I do with our students is that they don't come in with set projects. We have like, here's a big question, let's just go down this path, and then we adapt and they find the really important things that are interesting to them, because if they're interested, then they're going to work. Dr. Wufu, he is really nice. I was a great professor because he gave you the freedom to let you um, learn something by yourself and uh, kind of set up your project, solve the problem, and uh, at the same time, he will give you the support. My students always get to write the papers. They write the papers, they get to publish lots of papers. The only way to teach a scientist how to be a scientist is in a lab. There, you can't do it in the classroom. So the analogy between art and science I think is valid because we just have a different palette. We have a different set of tools, we have a different set of colors, and we just need to teach our students how to do that.